but gotta be great. Oh yeah, you're doing the Genzitational, right? Yeah, it should be a fun event. I mean, I think that it'll be nice to kind of see it in that format. I think a lot of us all know. Three, two, one, go! 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 Well, that's this weekend, so, right? That's this weekend, so we'll get to see a good showcase of our new patch, our newest patch, and what all these new shiny characters can do. Now we got Dom and Stan and War TV there. Now we got him. Can you get some sound? Yeah. <laughs> um, poor, poor recovery for TP Dom. We saw the directional air dodge, but uh, did not recover in time to grab the legs. It's unfortunate. Hey, War Chief. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Had to check something real quick, but yeah. I mean, very good start for Mustaine. I like that he is using the, the rising tackle so high up in the air where, you know, most players will think like they're, they'll burn their second jump and then be safe up there, maybe have a little bit, a couple seconds to breathe and figure out where they want to land. But Mustaine does not. Gives them that option, and he chases them up into the sky. Yeah, I mean, it, it's such a, a standard play you'll see from a lot of people, and it always feels like it's like the safest play. Because like, you just burn your double jump in a double situation. Mm -hmm. that, that kind of Ready? Yeah. So, uh, this knockback feels... This knockback feels so strong from being in charge. Um, right Three, two, one, go! Yeah, no platforms available for from the stain. T3 Dom, of course, can you utilize this long, flat stage after his event, but throwing out a lot of projectiles that we've pretty much seen him do. Career. 
Yeah, but still keeping up with the damage. I mean, Mustaine, you would think that Terry would just have like so much difficulty getting in on Dom. Uh, but still, he's been, not only has he been able to make it work, but he's been keeping up with the damage. Really, when it comes to these like these lead situations, that's where we're kind of seeing Mustaine push his tempo. I don't know if you can ask with this question, but like there's a there's some type of uh, like projectile durability or property on his dash type where Terry can just eat up a projectile and keep going. You know what that is? Oh so it just tramples over it? Yeah, dude. Okay, another up B out of shield. That's a good option for Dom, but he's, he is a great get off tool, but unfortunately it's not giving him the oomph that he needs. Right there, good roll. That would have been a shield break for sure. Yeah, that was a hard situation. Mustang wasn't sure. Victor wins. Uh, was just waiting there to to react and punish accordingly. So, really good trap there. Got one on the board. Another one. Say something, Bam? Yeah, what's up? Okay. I think you're just a little quiet, is all. Turn me up, Nate. Whose fault is that? <laughs> uh, I think you need to talk louder. Are you able to talk louder? Oh, man. Oh man. I have a dumb neighbor. Oh Dude, no! We'll get super upset. Dude, she came up here to complain to me when I was literally because my phone was vibrating on my table in the middle of the day. Is it a, is it a, a neighbor below you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've had a neighbor like that before too. I. They complained my music was too loud, and the music was coming from my like Gen 3 iPhone. It was like a horrible speaker. It's so bad. I just like I believe someone came up here and told me my phone was vibrating too hard on a table in the middle of the day. I have no shame. I didn't even argue, but I'm like, at that point, there's no logic to actually resolve that situation. You got it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about how Dom was having a little bit of trouble finishing his play, but right there, getting his, his trusty Holy Cross set up. 
that ollie oop. Oh, trying to go for him. <laughs> he wanted a maximum punish to the movie through that cross. Oh, okay, 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 Tom. Yo, if that Holy Cross <laughs> clank with a uh, with power dunk, we might have seen like some some fancy stuff, Dom. No, I'll actually the same. I just went for uh, down tilt right into him. Oh no, uh, no Buster Wolf. We've been seeing him like throw out Buster Wolf throughout the night, regardless if shield is up or not. Like catching his opponent's dropping shield. That round. Good catch there, holy fire. Holy water right into that F tilt. Oh, oh wow! And the angle that he's throwing that holy water at is actually like just halting the approach from a stain. Poor Terry. He, he ain't never seen that in South Carolina. This is, this is kind of like how I expected this match to go. That was sick. Yeah, down till one in the down smash right there on the side. <laughs> Sliding himself into the perfect position. Sli that was the ultimate slay, dude. Slid right into the DMs, dude, and cut him off, dude, just like that. Yeah, really good stuff there. Yeah, two, three down. Let's see what uh, Mustaine can bring back, man. Yeah, you know, Mustaine is doing it for the the culture, man. For sure. He's uh definitely representing the motherland. Yes. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so we're gonna go into game four here. Ooh, that was nice. Instead of opting for the up air into rising tackle, just getting a better stage position with the nair burnt knuckle. Yeah. And that's definitely a setup he was holding on to. He wanted to get the early lead. But wow, he is having. He's dead. He is dead. Oh! A little too early on the Okay, he's really keeping airborne. Wow, even with the burning knuckles still putting putting Dom so far off stage that he couldn't even recover. Yeah, dude, see the thing is it's so good about like once you see something, it's just like landing trap or something. And a lot of times people just can't get away they, oh they can't get away from the because they don't want to box in range and that's you just when you get tagged on the like Yep, Stain getting hit by another axe. Didn't really exact didn't exactly have many options at that point. He could have tried to clank, but uh, like there's no guarantee that he would have made it to get back. Oh no! The reversal, the down air into up B. Great DI from the stain to make sure he doesn't lose his stock super early. Look at the reactions from Dom. Like, Mustaine was able to maneuver around all the traps that Dom put out, recovering to the ledge, and just like that, double power wave, psych power geyser. Yeah. 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 
Stumps on a decent place here. You see if he uh, got his pressure. Good catch, yeah. I think he would have given a nice fair. Pass ball. After the early defense, he's super, super good. But that looked like a uh, He was a constant down on us, too. Yeah, he baited out the air dodge, but he just pulled a little bit too far away. And with that fastball, Dom ensured that he was going to get back to the ground, but still finding himself back at the ledge. Up B out of shield, fighting his way out of the corner. Dom starting to throw out that whip again. Burn knuckle, or the <laughs> power dunk coming in clutch. Oh, and a directional air dodge. Okay, indeed. We're going to game five. And I'm too impatient to, to wait and find out what stage uh, these two players are going to. Because we've seen three games on Final Destination, one on Pokemon Stadium 2. So it wouldn't surprise me if, um, you know, Game 5 was on Final Destination. Yep, looks like Game 5 is in fact going to be on Final Destination. choice for game five just like that you know we started we thought we we're gonna see a similar start with the way that mustang was starting uh the game but Dom was able to get a bit of a reversal make sure he doesn't end up off stage super early i think people are just like conditioned to think that most terriers are going to go for down throw instead of up throw. Oh, I mean, that's definitely, definitely seems to be the reason why I'm just saying it's so good because he's just like, all right, I'm just going to keep doing it until you guys find out the mix of the mix. <laughs> Yeah, he even timed the geyser so that it would uh, clank through the Holy Cross, giving Dom a sense, like, false sense of security, but still able to get the down tilt into Buster Wolf. Be so good, but you catch it by Dom, and it was full of a stop. Definitely the scariest thing that you kind of come back down and you start to see uh, a character the sense, you know, you know, Couple more input later. And of course, game plan staying, staying the same for Dom. Applying the pressure, put up the walls, force Terry into the air, and then try and catch him. Good maneuvering right there by Mustang. All these projectiles are going to be Yeah, I hope I'm going to be able to use a player for the incurring trap. Okay, yep. Rising tackle out of shield. Not great yet. I'm not going to take the stock. 
probably going to have to get a raw hit with uh, either Power Dunk, Burning Knuckle, or Dash Attack. And he's able to find one. Patching Dunk throughout the Blade Cross. Yeah, but now it's go time. I can see the damage output from the stain, especially if you can get a down tilt. But can he get a down tilt? Oh, oh he whiffed the F tilt. Up, he had a shield my situation because, like, that's one of those things. If you miss, Terry has a go meter too, and you get the right landing, like, arrow you want, you know, or rising dare or something, short hop dare to start something off. Like, you're, you're getting thrown back by like 80%. Definitely. And a corner. And in the corner. Mm -hmm. But Dom able to come out victorious against Mustaine, and maybe we'll get to see the match that we should have seen a little bit earlier in the night. We're going to get to see Dom versus Tyrant. So I'm excited to see this just because one is the first uh, SoCal Grand Finals we've had in a long time. <laughs> Second, I was really excited to see Tyrant come out for a online event, which I, I did never, I never thought he would. Uh, and now he's in Grand Finals against Dom. So Politana versus 